Hi guys, I'm Tiwa from Wiser Biker. Now, today I've got a very interesting bike because I've been hearing a lot of uh, comments and uh, requests about asking us to do a review on entry level foldies. And finally, we've got one here in the house today. And it is the Tahon D6. Right, so what I'm going to do with this bike today is I will take it out and tell you my first impression about this bike and I'll go for a short ride. After that, I will go in detail with you about the components that are being offered in this bicycle. Now, this is a this Dahon D6 is actually retailed at about $500, so we will still categorize it as a, a very budget entry level for the before I even start, let me share with you a tip how you see whether the bike is of a certain minimum quality, alright? And that is by looking at its quality. Now, nowadays, if you get a bike from online and it's being shipped to you in a box, do what I'm doing right now, sit on the box, okay? Jump, hit it, okay? The box is still in very good shape. And that shows a, that is a sign that is telling us that there is a minimum standard in the quality of this bike. The manufacturer is not sparing money or not sparing any effort in protecting the bike inside. So this already gave me a lot of confidence, all right? The packaging itself already gave me a lot of confidence about this bike. Let me show you what's inside. Okay, so first look inside the box. There are foam paddings everywhere. Now, this is not something common. This is like one of the rare times that I see actually they are, they are doing this. Uh, they put a very big solid foams on the side of the box just to keep the bike in a firm you know a, a in position and not shake around left and right so this is a very good feature and i'm going to remove the parts okay they are all wrapped up to prevent scratches oh i'm going to take it out oh okay this is a very clean there's nothing no excess Unwanted packaging is well well wrapped, just sufficient, I guess. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap it and set it up. So, let's do. All right, so the bike is all set up, and uh, I'm out in the park connector for a little test ride to see how this bike actually feel. Now I'm right on the bike right now, and uh, first thing first the comfort level right from a foldy i mean from a roadie point of view i usually ride a foldable uh, a road bike and now i'm riding a foldable bike definitely the posture is a lot more upright and more comfortable you see my back is all straight yeah it's really a very relaxed posture i would say uh, comfort yes very comfortable don't have all the aggressive hunching and all that i'm enjoying this as for the handling wise, this bike actually feels pretty sturdy. It is, uh, although it's a foldable bike, it's and a lot of components that, I mean, there are few folding points and a lot of adjustable parts, but it doesn't have any uh, sort of shaking or of uh, flexes that I could feel as I'm riding. It is pretty solid. I feel that uh, when I brake, there is no moving parts at all. I mean, there's no moving point even as I brake. Ah, very good. As for the component, one part of the component is the gear. This is a 1x6. That means there's a 6 speed gear at the rear and a single speed crank set. I think it works fine as of now. Pretty sufficient for the type of ride that I'm enjoying, like a leisure ride or sightseeing or you know from point A to point B I'm at the heaviest gear right now and let's see if I can speed up it doesn't have the fastest pickup but well after all this is a leisure bike that I'm looking at I'm not really, not really looking at this uh, performance or acceleration but how comfortable it is and at uh, this point of time it's starting to rain and oh damn it <laughs> it is getting too heavy we have to cut this come on go home go home let's go home we have to find shelter shelter seek shelter yeah <laughs> nearest bus stop let's go to Kopidium race to the Kopidium <laughs> this 
This is brutal. <laughs> Hi guys, so uh, well we're back to here on the indoors because uh, unfortunately it rained, it's not raining and uh, we couldn't carry on in the rain. I don't want to really dirty this beautiful bike. Okay, so I want to tell you more about why I chose a, a bike, especially the wheel size. Uh, this is a 20 inch wheel set and uh, common for foldable bikes are 14 inch, 16 inch and 20 inch. I chose one that is one of the biggest with a 20 inch wheel and that is because I feel that it offers more stability when I ride and as well as more speed. Taking a closer look at the components, uh, we start with the group set here, I'll say the crank set. It is a 52T single speed crank set. Over here, we've got a single speed chain ring, there's a 52T. And the combination for the six speed freewheel is 14T and 28T. So I feel that uh, I was riding it just now and I feel that it's a way, this is actually sufficient for uh, you know, normal commuting even for leisure rides that I was uh, doing just now. It's got enough gear ratio for me to go a little bit faster as well as to climb a, you know, a gentle gradient or climb some slope with ease. The shifter is a 6 speed whip shift by Dahon themselves and okay. the derailleur is also by Dahon. They work pretty well. I would say it's actually quite smooth and they are indexed which means that when you click it goes exactly into the gear that you want. And to complete the group set it comes with a KMC chain and a very good detail is that this KMC chain has got is a hollow has got hollow links so it reduces some weight from the some of these hollow links. Pretty neat. And I think it's something nice about this bike is that it comes with a rear rack. Uh, it is very really small but it is sufficient to mount camel bags so that you can put a lot of storage to go up when you go out for your work or for your leisure rides. Okay, now I'm going to test how well this bike folds. Let's see. First, I'm going to lower this. And fold the stem. Next, uh, I'll lower the saddle. So that, okay. Put it to slight angle. Pick up this. Open this. Okay, and uh, he's got a Falco strap. Oh, here he dropped. He's got a Falco strap for me to fold it so it doesn't open up so easily when you are walking. Okay, so it actually folds quite easily and it's quite stable when you put stationary. Let's see if it can be stroll around. Okay, I can push it. Oh, looks like it's actually quite easy. I can actually push it around to the MRT and so. Alright, so seems like it's quite easy. Can be put in a boot, pretty decent size, and I uh, can still maneuver with it with quite um quite a lot of ease. Alright, so that is uh, my first impression on the Dahon D6 foldable bike, and I think I'm pretty impressed by the features, the make of the bike as well as the how it feels like while riding it, the comfort level as well as, I mean most importantly is the value that I'm getting from this bike. As usual, we always look out for uh, whether the bike is worth the price that it's asking and and to and for me as a entry level 4D at a price about $500 retail price, this one actually is worth the value. And lastly, I want to tell you what what actually captured my attention most uh, by this bike is that the beautiful paint work and the color of the paint as well as the finishing of it. You know, when I saw it, it was absolutely beautiful to me. It was like the paint work was so nice, so retro, so beautiful. And now and seeing it and touching it is really, really fine piece of paint work. Alright, so this is our first impression on the Dahon D6 and we'll probably ride it more and do 
more testing on this bike to give you a more in-depth review but do let us know whether you like this bike or what do you think about it in the comment box below and um, and give us a thumbs up for the video and subscribe thank you